take a look now at a new way to stop traffic jams with technology already in your car. As a record number of Americans set to hit the roads for the 4th of July, this tool could cut down on what they're, what they're calling phantom traffic jams. And our senior transportation correspondent, David Curley, in Michigan with an exclusive look. Hey, David. Good morning, George. We all hate this, don't we? A traffic jam, st standing still, no cars moving. You don't know why. Well, there actually is technology available in some of these new cars that could help solve this problem. That's a traffic jam. This morning on Ford's test track outside Detroit, proof that the modern cruise control system can mean less stop and go traffic jams, including those phantom traffic jams. Ford put 36 vehicles on the track with adaptive cruise control, which keeps distance between your vehicle and the one in front. And look what happened. When there's a slowdown, one of those phantom jams, the vehicles on top without cruise start bunching up. But those below on cruise keep the gap, smoothing out the slowdown. An unexpected benefit for Ford engineers who designed adaptive cruise control. It's not something that, you know, when we were designing it that we intended to do. It was really fun to see that, you know, the, the effect that the system could have. Ford decided to try this big test after seeing the research of a traffic engineering professor who thought the cruise system that maintains those vehicle gaps might have that other benefit. When you were running the cars down this test track and you saw it work, what did you think? I mean, this is amazing. We had been experimenting with this in theory, and to see it in practice with real vehicles was really exciting for us. And researchers say not all cars need to be on adaptive cruise control to get at least some of this benefit. The cruise keeps us moving. So we're gonna give you an example of how this system actually works. We're in traffic now. I'm going to set the adaptive cruise control. I wanna go 57 miles an hour. So I'm gonna set it at 57, which is gonna put me right behind this person in front of me. I'm at 55, 56, 57, I've set it. And I've set these four bars now. So that's my distance from the car in front of me. As we're traveling down, all of a sudden, brake lights above, the car itself is now keeping that distance as we braked. And as soon as this phantom traffic jaff ends, here's the car accelerating back up to my 57 miles an hour, but still keeping the distance to the car in front of me. It's an interesting system that could help us all avoid some of those phantom traffic jams. Guys, back to you. Glad it worked for you, David. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.